Let's begin with a look at the nvconfig object within our next JS configuration file. This object contains key value pairs that represent environment variables specific to each deployment stage, development, staging, and production. For the development stage, we have defined variables like env underscore var with the value development value and another underscore env underscore var with another development value. These values will only be used when we're running our application in a development environment. Similarly, for the staging stage, there are different values for the same variables, such as env underscore var set to staging value. These are intended for when we're testing our app in a pre-production staging environment. And lastly, for the production stage, we have the production-specific values like production value for env underscore var. These will be applied when our app is live and accessible to end users. Next, we determine the current deployment stage. We use a ternary operator to check the phase. If it's development, we set the current stage to development. If not, we check if a stage environment variable is explicitly set to staging. If none of these conditions are met, we default to production. With the current stage determined, we now export a function from our configuration file, which merges the environment variables for the appropriate stage into the default Next.js configuration. By using the spread operator, we ensure that any existing settings in default config are preserved. Within the return statement, the env object is expanded. It incorporates the variables from our env config for the current stage. This ensures that only the relevant variables are applied, depending on the stage our application is in, whether it's development, staging, or production. 